think about that. And now, here's Mike Muse with the political news. So let's get right to it and meet the candidates. That completes the opening statement. We're going to get right to it. On Sway in the Morning. All right, all right. We got political news with Mike Muse. We're doing a special edition segment. There's so much in the, um, politics right now in the news. Not even politics, in life. Yeah. That's taking place in this country. We're talking about immigration, and we're seeing a lot of um, just um, – atrocities of kids being separated from their parents and and people on both sides of the fence about it like some folks are blaming the parents some folks are saying no you know we gotta this is a humanity issue this is a moral issue uh we have to figure out how we're going to provide provisions if this is going to happen so some of these kids could be well taken care of who are we as a people who are we as a country and in other news you know you, you're hearing rumblings of trade wars that are taking place between the united states and various countries especially china yes uh with a lot of, with the tariffs that have been um implemented now on china 25 percent tariffs on china Ch- chinese goods correct um and then there's been a threat of uh, another 10 percent, i believe yes um how does that uh let's start let's start off with the tariffs mike muse ladies and gentlemen mike muse is Hi. here yo whatever what up everybody man we, we, there's so much to get through these days no isn't aren't we in debt to China? Yeah, China's one of our biggest financial backers. Uh, okay. When we go and pay off our debt, we usually uh, raise our debt ceiling and we are gonna. We always have the debate on a consistent basis in order to pay off our debt that we have. And so we usually borrow a lot from China. So on top of that, though, we are now, Sway, you set up very perfectly in the sense of this massive trade war that we're entering with China. The danger of when we've been in, now we're in trade wars with Mexico and with Canada, um, with the European Union now. So we're in trade wars with almost every country now. Um, so some are threatened, some are perceived, some are actually coming into actualization. The one that you, we have to be cautious of is China. Uh, China has the resources, China has the money in order to go toe-to-toe with us and to do some real impact to us. So as of now, citizens, uh, this hasn't been taking place yet, but this is what's being threatened. Uh, the United States government, the Trump administration, has issued 25% tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese goods. Immediately when after President Trump made that announcement, China retaliated with the same $50 Fifty billion dollar tariffs on U.S. products. After that happened, President Trump now has said that if China goes through with this, he will in July issue over two hundred billion dollars in tariffs to China. To China. What China is doing now, they said they're going to come back. So now we're going toe to toe. Now we're in the hundreds of billions of dollars. And so what China said is that they may come back with more economic tariffs, but this way they're willing to go as far as to do physical tariffs in regards to tourism and education. What does that mean? What does that mean to us? And what does that mean about services? Think about citizens. If you ever traveled to Disney World, if yeah, you ever okay, been to okay, Orlando, okay, okay, um, okay. if you ever been to Los Angeles and you go see the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right? Okay, okay. Or if you come to New York and you see Times Square, um, or if you go to D.C. and you go to the, the the mall, right, and you mm-hmm. look at all the monuments and all the exhibits, what do you see? Lots of Chinese tourists uh, that come to Disney World, to Los Angeles, to New York City, and to Washington D.C. Well, I was just in the Bahamas. Right, and the Atlantic, uh, Atlantis um, is the biggest hotel the in resort, the yeah. resort in the Bahamas. But the Chi- uh, Chinese now own a new resort that they just built called the uh, Bahamar Hotel, and wow. it's huger than anything, you know. And now, and, then, and it's a lot of they spend billions of dollars buying up the land in Bahamas. Mm-hmm. So I can feel their presence everywhere in the world. Yes, which is you, know. you, you can. They have yeah. the economic means to do that. And mm-hmm. when they travel over here, Sway, they travel in big packs. It, when you think about it, there are always these big tourist groups that come from China. Yeah. And not only are they coming over here, they're spending in hotels, uh, they're spending in restaurants, they're spending in bars, and more so they're spending in retail, which is what's needed. So this is going to be impact. Now, I know you've been in China. I've been to China. That trip is expensive. Just that the flight alone is expensive. Yeah. So you have to have some type of excess of means in order to not only once you make the trip in order to have spending money once you're here yeah. right in order to do that so that's going to impact us economically from our tourist division citizen this is also too going to impact you in your own pocketbooks if you will on the services and goods that you purchase a lot of it is made in china so as a result china is going to strategically increase as a result of the tariffs going up the cost of the products for us to pay here in the united states is also going to increase so we're going to see an impact on us as well what this means and why is this doing it to add context to it china and has been 
and um, doing a lot of intellectual property um, theft, if you will. So they take a lot of our intellectual property, a lot of our um, technology as being stolen from China. So from the Trump administration and previous administrations as well, they've been trying to get China to stop it. Mm -hmm. But the question is, at what cost are you willing to go forward with them in order for them to stop it? Is it going to impact us as American citizens on our own soil and our own economics are at cost? Give me an example of um, intellectual property theft. What would that so meaning the technology of goods that that's created from the United States, think about Silicon Valley, all of our technology that mm -hmm. comes out of that um, in terms of copyright infringement, any physical product that we may make over here in America usually gets copied. Over, they duplicate it they, over they, in terms, they, like they, they have their own Facebook, for example. Yeah, yeah, their own technology. Okay. They, they, the more so they also use our software and our technology in order to oh. create their own software and technology and their okay. own mm. physical products. And uh -huh. so China is known for that. And so what President Trump wants to do with this is to stop them from doing that. He's going about it, though, through this whole trade war dynamic. But as you go about through this trade war dynamic, there also is to be mindfulness of it, how it can impact the U.S. citizens. And it can impact U.S. citizens for consumer good things that we purchase. And also, too, it's affecting the stock market. The stock market has been in flux every time these trade war conversations go back and forth with that. Mm -hmm. So it's having a huge impact on the market today without the tariffs even being implemented yet. Okay. Um what is the when you look at this from um, all angles, mm -hmm. um, how does this benefit the United States, these tariffs? That's a great question to ask. Yeah. Right. It depends okay. upon which perspective you, you sit on. Uh -huh. If you sit on the perspective of we want to make sure that our intellectual capital and property is protected, our copyright is protected. And you want to make sure that they're not stealing what makes America so great. Yeah. Right. Our, 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 our technology, the way we create the things that are happening, our entrepreneurship landscape in our space. If you feel like that is being copied, then that's what you want protected. And every citizen should feel that is being protected. Yeah. What you want to, too, is that from different industries that may sell to China, right, in competitive spaces. So they feel that they can't compete because when China brings their property over, for example, let me let me slow down just a little bit. We have a minimum wage that we have to pay our workers for the most part. Right. And so the minimum wage that is paid for our workers or just fair wage that yeah. we pay to our workers gets absorbed into how much these companies charge for their consumer good products. Right. Uh -huh. So let's take a hat, for example. Let's say American manufacturer makes a baseball hat. Let's say the New York Yankees makes a New York Yankees hat. It costs them, let's just say, fifteen dollars to make. By the time you do labor costs, transportation costs, taxes, et cetera, twenty five dollars. But they sell it at twenty five dollars in order to make a ten dollar profit. Yeah. Right. China can make that same hat due to there is no institutional wages, there mm -hmm. is no fair wage practices, so they can make that same hat for $2 and then sell that hat in America for $10. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is Americans may, because we're cost conscious here and we're, a lot of us are on a budget, we'll go for that New York Yankees hat that costs us $10 versus getting that same style of hat for $25. Okay. So individuals such as hat makers believe that putting a tariff on this would now make that tariff equal to that hat equal. Mm -hmm. So now instead of that hat costing $10, that hat would now cost $25. So mm -hmm. it will be on par with the other American manufacturers who sell hats for $25. Okay. So that's essentially what the roles of tariffs are supposed to do. And that's all hypothetical how you put that. But that's it, an example you know, of what tariffs what, are, right? Okay. And the reason why China is able to but do so well. But that doesn't sound so bad. It doesn't sound so bad at all. Uh -huh. But sometimes, though, it's not, a, it's not uh, a, a net zero loss, if you will, because there are instances, let's take steel and aluminum tariffs, for example, yeah. right? So when we place an impact on steel, what's going to be affected is you say, you know what, now steel and aluminum manufacturers now will be able to make their steel and aluminum and their lumber at competitive rates, and they can sell it at competitive rates with mm -hmm. our competitors such as Canada, for say, or such as China. But on the flip side to that, though, that has an impact on those who purchase steel and aluminum. So think about Campbell's Soup, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, those who work in facilities that produce steel and aluminum, they now may be able to maintain their jobs, they may be able to grow their business, but look at the companies who purchase from it, like Campbell's Soup, the cost of soup cans will go up. So necessarily your soup goes up at that point. Your cost of beer, beer uses cans and mm -hmm. aluminum, so mm -hmm. then the cost of beer will go up. So yes, in one regard, you're protecting the steel and aluminum industry, but in the other, you're gonna have another impact on an industry such as those of us who, who use canned goods, if you will, okay. right? And 
And then let's look at lumber. Yes, the cost of lumber is going to be on par now with what Canada is selling lumber to be, if you will, right? But as a result of that, the tariffs that Canada is now going to impose upon us, think about those individuals who are interested in purchasing new homes. Yeah. Now the home prices are going to go up. They're estimating sway that home prices will go up approximately $6,500 as a result of these tariffs. Okay. And those citizens who have been shopping for homes, sway you know it, have to be you know it, their margins are tight, right? Mm -hmm. And so $6,500 can make a huge impact on a first-time home buyer, right? And so also, too, if you're a small business owner and you want to purchase a building for your company and your corporation for your brick and mortar, that's going to be more expensive. If you are a developer who makes uh, retail, think about those shopping plaza citizens in your hometown where you go to a Target, there's a dry cleaners, there's your local grocery store that is there. When you build that new retail space, they use wood, they use lumber, they use steel, right? So the cost of that is going to increase too as well. So yes, in one regard, tariffs are good because it brings things up to par with local manufacturers and small businesses, but can also have an, an impact in another area too as well. And then it trickles down to the consumer. It trickles down to the consumer. Okay. And so that's why you always want, look, I'm not saying, and, and most Americans agree, tariffs aren't bad. Everybody does tariffs. Yeah. Every country issues tariffs, yeah. right? But you have to be strategic in how you go about the tariffs and you can't be so, uh, th there's a danger when it appears to be ad hoc, right? And there's a danger when you just keep going back and forth and there's a dangerous way when you enter a trade war with Mexico Canada the European Union the United Kingdom and China that's a lot of trade wars happening at one time and creates a very volatile market. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Sway, we've also taken ourselves out of the TPP. The TPP was a very controversial, the Trans Atlantic, the Trans Partnership, specific partnership. That was in order for us to be able to protect ourselves against China, right? And so that when we have all these other 12 countries that were involved in it, we can band together. So whatever impact China was having with low wages, low cost of goods, we'll be able to counter that and make up for that on the back end if uh -huh. we went to that partnership. But we removed ourselves from that. As well as of us removing ourselves from that issue, it makes it just more difficult for the consumer at the bottom line. It's a lot going on, Heather. But I, uh, uh, well, you know, it's, it depends on how you look it's at it. It's all about your perspective. It's, it's all about your perspective. Of, some uh, industries like uh, it, but uh, then some industries uh, will be impacted don't, by it. You know, um, and uh, and these are all the facts. Okay, uh, so we're gonna. Open up the phone lines, then I want to come back and talk more about immigration and what we're seeing happening today in this country. Yikes. Sway in the morning, 888-742-3345. Call us. Turn my joint up. Turn my joint up, yo. Turn my joint up, OQ. Sway in the morning. Let's get that money. Huh? 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 Yo, J-A-Y.